What's up, the Generate Nation? Welcome to Stump the Stuck, episode two, the sports trivia game show where you can win my money. I'm Stucky, and joining me today is our reigning champion, Sean Corner, who won episode one. And the challenger today is none other than Mr. Chad Millman, who will be competing in an NFL episode as it is the theme of the week. What's going on, gentlemen? Doc, listen, can I get someone to explain to me how to share this Periscope from my actual account while we do this? Sure. Uh, Absolutely. Mr. Millman is going to figure out how to share this episode. It was a a nice intro, Chad. Um, How are you, Sean? I'm I'm well. Just happy to be here. I feel like I uh, lucked out with Ray Bomb. We we both kind of... um, you know, we're a little embarrassed on that final question, but I got to say it's tough. It's, it's tougher than it looks when you're on the hot seat. Uh, it's, it's hard to remember things that you obviously know. So um, ho- hopefully I'll be a little bit better today against Chad. Well, I, you guys were, I, I will say, go ahead, Jeff. Kick your ass corner. I am like trivia is my thing, man. I'm so good at it. All right. Yeah, we're going to see. It's a skill for sure. Just being able to just remember things on the spot. It's a skill. Um, so hopefully I'll be a little bit better at it today. Well, you guys were, I have to say, you and Raybon were both really impressive with in the numbers portion, the over-under. There was actually some some thrilling results where I thought one of you won and then the other won. For those of you that are new, uh, you know, including Chad, I know you watch, for that don't know how it works, let me just explain the rules and then we'll get right into it. There are three rounds. 10 total questions. The first round is six questions. I'm just going to ask a question like who won, you know, Super Bowl 30, right? And then if you know it, great. You get one point. If not, the other person has a chance to steal. There will be each person gets three questions in that round. First one worth one point, second, two points, third, three points. The second round is over unders. There will be three questions which you both will participate in. I will say something like, How many passing yards did Tom Brady throw for last year? You'll write down your answers. I'll say reveal. You'll reveal them at the same time. Whoever gets closest gets the point. We'll have three questions in that round one, two, and three points for those three. And then the final round is worth five points. So even if you're behind, you'll still have a shot unless you get blown out, uh, where I'll say something. And you'll go back and forth until you don't know one um, or you repeat or you get one wrong. Um, And look, the game's not over. If you do not know one, the other person will have to clinch it by saying a correct answer. So without further ado, let's get right into round one. Uh, Mr. Corner, I will, since you are the champ, I will allow you to choose whether you would like to go first or second. Um, Why don't I go first? I'll go first. Okay. Um, we're going to start it off here with this question is worth one point. Who has the most career regular season passing yards in NFL history? Um, Drew Brees. That is correct. One nothing for Mr. Sean Corner. That was uh, so easy. <laughs> they're supposed to be easy. Right. Fr- it's worth to, one like- point. You tried – no, hold on. You tried to make it seem a little bit like a trick question with, like, regular season, but that was that, – that made him th- – that was too easy. I right, you just have to make sure you don't make an easy mistake. I the better first, get one, too. The first – it's worth one point in the first round. They are supposed to be easy. I can't have it be 0-0 zero, zero going into the final round here. Um, all right. Here we go. Question two for Chad worth one point. Who holds the record for the most rushing yards in a single – regular season game adrian peterson that is correct Boom! He holds the record by Boom! one yard over i believe jamal over. lewis oh um, oh no yeah. you got it right nice. by one yard but he has it by one yard um okay. so you got to think about it it's supposed to be a good one point also, first round question the music before my question even was done that that made me nervous all right. Sorry. Um, we're moving on to the second, the two point questions in round one. The score is one, one after the first questions back to Sean for two points. Who is the last running back to win Super Bowl MVP? Oh, God, yeah, I guess it should have been James White. Um, this is not a should have been question. <laughs> oh man. Um, Five seconds. 
fuck. Uh, Need an answer. Uh, <laughs> Steven Jackson, I don't know. That is incorrect. I'm going to go to Mr. Millen for the steal. Terrell Davis. That is correct. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh did my you know God. you do that? Did you know you knew that? Or you, it was a kind of a guess? It was, honestly, I was going to say Emmett Smith. And in the last second, I thought, oh, maybe it's Terrell Davis. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to go all the way back to 1998 um, in order to find the last running back. I'm fairly sure. And I don't know where the next will be. I, was yeah. at, I oh. think I was at that game also. See, that helps. Um, <laughs> yeah, that does. All right, so Chad with a steal takes a three to one lead and now gets another question worth two points to build on that lead. Um, which defensive player won the Super Bowl MVP in 2001? 2001 Super Bowl MVP, uh, defensive player. That would be Ray Lewis. That is correct. Chad is taking a commanding Talk. early lead. Talk. He admit is it. up. Admit it. You're impressed. You're impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The Terrell Davis was uh, for the steal was impressive. Um, all right, but let's see if you're going to really impress me. Broncos. If you sweep. He played for the Broncos. Correct. Um, you're going to impress me now if you sweep this. Um, so we're going to move on for three points. Sean could really use this. <laughs> Which home, and this is a tough one, I have to say. Obviously, they're supposed to be tough for three points. But which home stadium, I will say Denver. We just talked about Denver. Obviously, they have the highest elevation for home stadium. Which NFL team plays its home stadium with the second highest elevation? Uh, Not easy. I would say uh, Cardinals. That is correct. Wow. That was uh, that is good. Five, four. Sean needed it. The lowest is um, obviously the Saints. They're at like three feet. Oh, yeah. Um, and second is the Cardinals. All right. So five, four, Chad, you will have a lead no matter what going into round two. But you can uh, you can double up, Sean, eight to four if you get this correct. Well, if you don't, Sean steals it. Actually, he could take the lead. Right. Here's your question. Name one of the five college football teams that play their home games in an NFL stadium? Uh, Pittsburgh Panthers. That is correct. Oof. Pitt, Miami, Temple, San Diego State, South Florida. UMass and Georgia State used to a couple years ago. They would have been incorrect answers. They have since been. Doesn't uh, USC um, technically? Um, or do the Rams play in a college stadium? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I probably would have accepted that. Um, yeah, I guess it could. I don't know. How, yeah, oh, is it the Rams playing at college stadium? It's because you correct Stucky. No extra yeah. points. <laughs> um, no extra points. It's eight to four. Chad, you lead going into the second round. This is my favorite round, over-under. So get your pen and papers ready. Uh, I'm going to ask a question. I'll give you, you know. This is a goddamn tragedy. This is a five, goddamn tragedy. What are, what are you upset about now? Say what? What are you upset about? That I'm beating him so badly. Oh, okay. Sad. Oh. All right. We got a long way to go. Cor yeah. uh, I will say, Raybon had a lead on corner, and he came back to win. All right, here's the first question. Bruce Smith holds the all-time NFL sacks record. How many regular season sacks, obviously with the record, does Bruce Smith have in his career? Five seconds. All right. right. We're going to need your answer in three, two, one. Correct answer is 200. Chad with 197 oh. and corner with 298. Way over. Uh, Chad comes within three. Um, someone turn Chad's camera around. Make sure there's no one in there feeding him the answers. <laughs> um, it's just me being a super fan, doing what I do best. All right. It's nine, four. Uh, by the way, the, the stat, the sack stat originated in 1982. Many believe that, uh, I forget who the, Coy Baker, I think, in 1976 had 26 sacks, but it wasn't official, so that's not a record. Uh, but Bruce Smith with 200, great answer, Chad. Let's move on to 
The second question in the over-under round, this is worth two points. The score is currently 9-4. Chad leads. The 49ers hold the postseason record for most points in a single postseason. In 1989, they set that record and still hold it to this day. How many points did the 49ers score in the 1989 playoffs? Three seconds. All right, I'm going to need your answers in three, two, one. The correct answer is 126. Corner 112 to Chad's 104. Corner picks up the two points that were essential. Nine to six. Two good well guesses. Well done, Sean Corner. Well done. Thank you. Two Thank good you. guesses there. Um, all right, the sco score is nine to six. So, Chad, you're either going to clinch this here before we go to the final round, or we're going to the final round tied 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, we'll still play the final round, so it'll be fun. I'm hoping I lose, because otherwise there's no tension in the final round, and this is the most anxiety I have felt in weeks. <laughs> I am, like, feeling the butterflies. Chad, the, the reason that you don't want to say that is if people don't win three in a row, or regardless, at the end, there's going to be the, the contestants who had the most amount of points total mm -hmm. are going to face me. So there's still an incentive to – win by as many as you can and get as many points as you can. Yeah. Um, so Jerry Rice. No mercy. No mercy. Jerry Rice holds the record, the regular season reception yards record in NFL history with 22,895. 22,895. Larry Fitzgerald is second. How many receiving yards, obviously regular season, does Larry Fitzgerald have? Whew. Bryce? 22,895. Fifth, second of how many? Hmm. All right, need your answers in three, two, one. The correct answer is oh, I'm definitely closer. <laughs> 17,083. So Chad, you're 4,000 off and corner, your three corner wins. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. If you put the average of our two guesses, it's probably dead on, huh? Yeah. It's it's a really tough question because he's second oh. place, but he's five thousand off. Um uh, except so it's like, all right, how far off do I go? How close? Yeah. All right, so it's nine to nine headed into the final round. Uh, if you are just joining us late, I'm going to ask a question where there's generally 10 to 20 correct answers. You guys will go back and forth. Um, and since you guys are tied, corner is the champ. He will start the round off. If you get it wrong, you can't think of one. It will go back to the other person to clinch the win. Now, if you tie, there's there's between 10 and 20 correct answers, I'll tell you. Uh, if you if you tie and you say them all, we do have a tiebreaker over under question since it is nine to nine. Um, so here it is. It's pretty simple. There's going to be a lot you should get easily. Um, and then there's going to be a couple that are going to be left over. We'll see if you can get them. Just name any team to win the Super Bowl since 1999. Obviously, if they've won multiple, that answer just counts once. Uh, corner, start it off. Um, I'm going to go with the Steelers. That is correct. Chad. Ravens. Feel free. Correct. Did it twice. Feel free to write these down, too, if you want to keep track. Uh, Chiefs. That is correct. We did not have a Burrow moment where we forgot right. I, the one that just that, That's happened. why I threw out the Chiefs right now. <laughs> I thought you were going to do that first. Yeah, Chad. The uh, Packers. The Packers is correct. Uh, why don't we do this? Uh, the Patriots. That, let me check my, yeah, it looks like that's right. <laughs> uh, the Colts. Colts is correct. Over the Bears. Um, the Saints. Saints is correct. The Rams. The Rams is correct. 
there. Mr. Corner. Oh, okay. Uh, Seahawks. That is correct. Giants. That is correct. Oh, this one I'm not even. Oh, uh, the Broncos. Damn it. That is correct. That was going to be my team. Uh, let's see. The Eagles. That is correct. Oh, man. Shit. I don't know. How much more time do I have? Five seconds. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to say the uh, Cowboys. That is incorrect. Fuck. Mr. Millman, for the win. Uh, since 99. There's only one left that you guys have not Oh, got. there's only one left. It is... The oh my god, five seconds. Browns, Browns, that is incorrect. I just now, out there. corner can bring this to a tiebreaker with the correct answer. If not, Chad wins. Oh. You let him. So Sorry, you have one more guess. There's thinking. one team left. You oh. get it right. We go to a tiebreaker. You can't come up with it. Chad wins. Oh my God. Um... Where's the music? <laughs> you have oh, 10 seconds. The Bears. That is incorrect. The correct answer is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, Brad no. Johnson. Brad Johnson. How could I forget that? I That's never missing. would remember that. I could not even. <sighs> you know what? This proves my theory. I have said for years, teams from the NFC South, nobody cares. Nobody remembers. Interchangeable. Like <laughs> in a million years, I never would have remembered. I couldn't even think of the NFC South as a division in the conference when I was going through every team in my right. life. Right. Yep. Yeah, I kept thinking the Falcons, and then, like, no, they definitely didn't win it. I never thought the Buccaneers. You know who well, did Sean Corner? This guy good right game, Good game, Chad. That was uh, a great game. Chad wins 14-9. to nine. Um, And, yeah, I mean, Dexter Jackson was Super Bowl MVP. Did, just for anyone curious, the, the tiebreaker question, we were dangerously close to getting there. Would have been the over under in the Giants Ravens Super Bowl, um, which I'll just give it away because it's crazy to think about now. It was 33. Um, wow. Yeah, it's crazy to think <laughs> about how much like that, uh, that, that Tampa Bay Super Bowl, that was John Gruden against his former team with Bill Callahan as the coach. And the center for the Raiders famously disappeared. Yep. 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 Um, yeah. So there you have it. I knew there was going to be like one or two that you couldn't think of. And that was one of the candidates. So great game, Sean. We'll see you again, probably for baseball when we have baseball yeah. theme week. Chad, yeah, we'll I'll see you baseball. again on Friday night against Mr. Matthew Freedom. Should be another nice. episode. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. And uh, we'll catch you on next time. Cheers. Good game, fellas. Good game. Good game. Good game, Chad.